Welcome to Great American Ballpark. Today, it's the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Cincinnati Reds. The Baseball Tonight Studios rocking with excitement as we get set to bring you an exhibition showdown here on ESPN. A division showdown between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Reds of Cincinnati. Let's see who's got the edge in today's starting pitching matchup. Oliver Perez will be on the hill for the Pittsburgh Pirates. And last year, a breakthrough season for Perez. Sixth in the league in strikeouts, a sub-3 ERA, good for fourth in the National League. He's one of the best young lefties in the game today, and he's only 24 this year. Paul Wilson will oppose him, starting for the Cincinnati Reds. And they are ready for baseball in Cincinnati. Our ESPN colleagues, John Miller and Joe Morgan, who for years played in Cincinnati. Boys? Okay, Carl. Now, from the shores of the Ohio River, we come to you from one of the bright new ballparks in baseball, great American ballpark here in Cincinnati as ESPN welcomes you to another edition of Major League Baseball. We've got a little exhibition baseball in store for you here. Today, it's the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the Cincinnati Reds. Hello, everyone. I'm John Miller, along with my longtime partner and Hall of Famer, Joe Morgan. Now, Joe, we're just about ready to get started in this ball game, but tell me what you think about the Pirates in this matchup. Well, I know they'll be looking for Jack Wilson to have a big game. Here's a guy they used to say with all defense and no offense. But they're not saying that anymore after the success he had at the plate last season. Look for him to be a difference maker in this one. Paul Wilson will be doing the pitching. Closing ball clubs hitting 271 when he's been in the mound this year. Well, they'll turn to one of their better pitchers in this one, John. Righty Paul Wilson. Wilson was the number one pick in the nation in 1994. I know he's had some struggles over the years injury wise, but he brings in a pretty good fastball that's 93 to 94 miles an hour. He can keep you off balance with sliders and change up. And we'll just have to see how he fares tonight. When he's healthy, he's a good pitcher. The throw is going down to second base, and we're just about ready to get things started here. First pitch, here it comes. Fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. He throws. Swing at a ground ball to short. Lopez is there. And his throw is in time for the first out of the inning. That was a nice throw by the shortstop. He wings it over to first to get the hitter out. Now they got him just in time. That's my story and I'm sticking with it. Let's see what the replay says, Joe. Let's get a look at this play at first. You see it? The ball just beats him to the bag. Bang, bang, play, but he's out. Here's the Pirates batting order. Darrell Ward is in the third spot. One out, none on. First pitch on the way. That's a tough pitch to commit to there. You never look for a changeup down and in. There's a swing and a soft liner. And foul. Now here's a swing and a ball hit on the ground. Wilson has it. Throws the first and he's retired for out number two. The Reds on the field defensively look like this. Two outs, nobody on. First pitch, here it comes. First pitch is a fastball in there for a strike. That pitch is away. You can't try to pull it. Go the other way. There's a swing and a rocket toward short. Lopez is there to play it on the hop. Throws the first in time for out number three. No runs, no hits, and no one left on. Now we'll go to the bottom of inning number one and have no score. On the mound now, and he's been an impressive strikeout presence this year. He has struck out 11 for every nine innings pitch. That's outstanding. Well, I'm not sure if there's a better or more exciting young pitcher than Oliver Perez. At 23 years of age, this guy absolutely dominated teams last season with his wicked slider and killer fastball. Opposing batters barely hit 200 against this guy. He simply lights out. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count now, 0 and 2. And that swung on and lined softly up the middle. Wilson dives and he makes the catch. Oh man. Looked like a good pitch to hit, but he didn't do much with it and he is gone. I'll tell you what, Joe, this is a great play. Here's another look at it. Definitely, John. You see several nice things going on here, and they execute the play like it's routine. 
Let's check out the lineup for the Reds. Adam Dunn is the big, powerful cleanup man. First pitch to him. That's what you call backing him off the plate. The 1 0 pitch on the way. On the outside corner, 1 and 1. Man, that's a good live fastball. Perfect location. Down and away. Here's the 1 1 delivery. Well, he's not afraid to pitch inside, and he gives you a pretty good example of that there. Whoa. The 2 and 1 pitch on the way. Swung on, bounced weakly to second. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And he'll have no play on this one. That'll go as an error. This is one he'd probably rather we didn't show on replay, John. Yeah, but that's just not the way we are. Whether they're good plays or bad, we show them all. And I'm sure he'd rather not remember this one. This was kind of good. You got that right. Here's the Pirates' defense. Runner at first, one down. First pitch, here it comes. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. Here it comes. Now he's set. Here's the one on the ground to third. The second for one. Over to first and the safe. Almost a double play. Not quite on that time. He just did beat it out. He goes the short way to get the lead runner at second, but they're unable to get the back in. A career record 46 home runs for Adam Dunn last year. Two down, a runner at first. Anytime the ball's breaking towards you and you hit the top of it, man, you might hit it off your shin. Be careful. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Swings and hits this one in the air down the right field line. And foul. Now he's set. Here's the 1 1 pitch. This one's popped up foul behind the plate. A one two pitch coming. The slider swung on and missed. He struck him out and the side is retired. Well, he only had four pitches in that at bat, but let's go back and take a look at him. Yeah, it's a great pitching, Joe. The Cincinnati Reds can't get anybody home here this afternoon. After one, then we have no score. The middle of the order, the four, five, six spots coming up next. Craig Wilson will be the first man up. First pitch on the way. Hard hit grounded a short. Lopez is right there. And his throw is in time for route number one. Bay comes up for the first time right now. Base is empty with one out. First pitch to him. This one swung on and hit on a line. And that falls for a base hit. And that is not in time and he's aboard. Well, a little one-out base hit here. Let's see if they can parlay this into something special. Benito Santiago comes in. This past season, he batted 275. He's got a lifetime 263 batting average. Fastball taken high, 1-0. Now he sets. Here's the 1-0 pitch. It would be a perfect pitch if it stayed in the zone. This slider just slid right out of the bottom outside corner. Now he sets. Here's the 2 0 pitch. He got his 2 0 fastball and he missed it. 2 1. He's ready. Now the 2 1 pitch. That misses down around the ankles. 3 1 now. He's set. Here's the 3 1. There's a swing and a rocket toward short to second for one and two. A double play. Well, Joe, I bet this one brings back some great memories of getting two with you and David Concepcion. <laughs> John, sure does. I always love making the double play. This is one of the most enjoyable plays to make in baseball. That is, except the big fly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no runs on one hit and nobody left out. Now we'll move on to the bottom of the second in a scoreless ball game. The five, six, seven hitters coming up next. Austin Kearns will be the first man. Now here's the ball grounded towards the hole. Castillo is there. Throw on to first in time, one away. 
LaRue is going to have a shot to get something done right here. One out, none on. First pitch to him. Fastball in there for a called strike. The pitch. Swung on and grounded towards the hole. And that's a base head as it gets down in front of him. John, he stays behind the ball well, and he's got himself a one-out base hit. With one out, there's a runner at first. First pitch on the way. Cut fastball, swung on and missed. It's 0-1. Now here's the ball grounded towards the hole. The throw to third. John, good bat speed through the zone that time with one out now. Let's see if they can try to move him along. Runners at first and second with one out. First pitch to him. First pitch is a cutter looked at. It's 0 and 1. And the key for the pitcher is to keep that cutter down. Now a swing and a ball hit on the ground. Over to second for one and two. A double play. Beautiful looking play here, John. These kind of plays are bread and butter to baseball. You can have incredible hitting, great pitching. But when you can pull off great defensive plays like this, you're going to have a much better chance of winning a lot of ball games over the course of the season. The Cincinnati Reds pick up no runs on two hits, and they strand just the one. They'll go to the top of any number three, and our score is nothing, nothing. It's the bottom three of the batting order coming up. Ty Wigginton will be the first man up. And man, that's one on one power baseball right there. 0 oh and 2. Let's see if they want to finish him right here or waste one. He kicks, he throws. Big swing and a miss on the changeup. He struck him out. One away. He was looking for a fastball, John, but he got the changeup. One right through it. Strike three. Here's the replay of those last three pitches. Great pitches on the replay. Yeah, nice work, Joe. He didn't give him much to hit that time, that's for sure. Castillo steps to the plate for the first time in this one. First pitch, here it comes. And that's off the plate away. One and oh. Now the one-oh pitch. He showed some quick reflexes getting out of the way of that pitch. The 2 0 pitch, here it comes. Changeup just misses, and he runs it to 3 0. The 3 0 pitch. He's hacking 3 0, but he missed it way out in front. 3 and 1. Man, big rip at that one, but he was looking for something else. If you're going to throw a slider, you have to throw a strike with it in that situation. Perez will get his first shot in this one right here. Runner at first, one down. First pitch, here it comes. Swings and misses at the sinker. 0 and 1. Got the fastball by him that time, and he's in control now. 0 and 2. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the second out of the inning. Man, there's a pitch up in the zone. He swung right through it. He'll have to hit that one next time. Three pitches, and he's out. Great pitching here. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, strike one, strike two, strike three, and see you later. Redmond will be the batter. 0 for 1 thus far. There he goes toward second. And he's in there at second. The throw is too late here, John, and he's able to steal second base with a good slide. Yeah, I, I thought the slide maybe was the key to the whole thing, Joe. I noticed on the replay, John, he didn't have too much of a lead at first either. A throw back to second, but he's back in time. He delivers. Two great pitches right on the edge. Now he's got him in trouble. Fastball swung out and missed, and the side is retired. The ball's going up and in on him, but he should have been able to handle that one. It still looked like he just had some trouble 
timing his swing there. Well, you really got to be careful about timing those inside pitches because as a hitter, you need to shorten your swing to get to them. The Pittsburgh Pirates can't get anybody home here this half inning. Now we'll go to the bottom of the th swing and a fly ball down the left field line. And foul. He swings and it's a fly ball to right field. Wilson is there and puts it away for out number one. Not a bad swing, but he's too far underneath it. And the result is an easy fly to right. One out, nobody on. First pitch on the way. Just missed with the fastball. Ball one. Here's the one-hole delivery. This one swung on and hit down the line and right. Wilson has him played perfectly as he puts this one away. Johnny covers a lot of ground out there and he's able to range to his left and pull this one in near the line. Base is empty, two down here. First pitch to him. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Swing and an easy ground ball to short. Wilson has got it. Throws on the first and the side is retired. Here's the replay, Joe, and he almost made this one. Let's have a look. This is a bang bang play at first. Does the umpire make the right call? You bet he does. And they're gone in short order here. We're through three here at the ballpark in a scoreless ballgame. The number two hole will be getting things started next. Craig Wilson will try and get something started. He's up third in the next inning. First pitch to him. First pitch is a fastball in there for a strike. The pitch. Swung on and grounded towards the hole. Friel is there. And his throw gets him. One away. Ward will be the batter. 0 for 1 thus far. Base is empty. One out. First pitch. Here it comes. Cut on and missed. And it's 0 and 1. The 0 1 pitch. A fastball swung on and missed. 0 and 2. Ball, got him. Two down. Well, he was looking dead red. He got the fastball, but he could not make contact. Strike three. Wilson will be the batter. 0 for 1 thus far. Two outs, nobody on. First pitch on the way. Sinker swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. Now a swing and a ball hit foul. Swings and lines this one back up the middle. The throw to second. Johnny found a pitch to his liking that time. Let's see if they can get something started here with two outs. The runner at first with two down. First pitch, here it comes. Not many people can handle that fastball up and away. Here's the pitch. That swung on at a high fly ball to right. Kearns puts it away and the side is retired. No runs on one base hit and run it left at first on now to the last of the four in a scoreless ball game the three four five spots in the order coming up next Adam Dunn is due up second and you've always got to be very careful with him first pitch on the way he has all the energy in this building behind him swings and lines this one back up the middle Castillo has got it over to first four out number one Dunn will be the batter. 0 for 1 thus far. One out, nobody on. First pitch to him. Swing the ground ball to the right side. Foul. The 0 1 pitch, a fastball swung out and missed. 0 and 2. 
the hitters dug himself a hole. Now it's 0 and 2. Swing at a high pop up right up behind home plate. Rounded down the first base line. Then he steps on first, and that's hot number two. That's a great play for the force at first base. He just took care of it himself. Bases empty, two down. First pitch, here it comes. Swings and hits this one in the air down the right field line. And foul. He throws. 0 oh 2, he's way ahead. The hitter has to protect the outside part of the plate here. I think that's where he's going. Sliders swung out and missed. He struck him out, and with that, the side is retired. Three pitches, but he's out. Great pitching here. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, strike one, strike two, strike three, and see you later. Nothing doing here this afternoon. There's any coming up here in Cincinnati. And we are scoreless. The six, seven, eight hitters are coming up next. Benito Santiago will be the first man up. First pitch on the way. Swing and a ground ball to third. And foul. The 0 1 pitch is a sinker in for a called strike. Swing and a miss on the sinker on the way. Man, the sinker's really moving. The hitters can't catch up with it today. We just punished him here, John. Three great pitches. Well, he's got to have great stuff because you don't see guys go down on three pitches like that very often. Very nice. Wigginton will be the batter. 0 for 1 thus far. Nobody on base with one out. First pitch to him. Cut on and missed, and it's 0 and 1. Got the fastball by him that time, and he's in control now. 0 and 2. Fastball, got him. Two down. Great location on this pitch. He kept it down and caught the corner. This one will run down and away a little bit, but as you can see, Kazon would have still called it a strike. Well, he does go down swinging here, and uh, his confidence uh, goes down a little bit, right? With him. Base is empty, two down here. First pitch, here it comes. And they throw way outside as if they're going to walk him intentionally here. The 1-0 pitch on the way. Ball two, that's high. Now the 2-0 pitch. And there's ball three. Here's the 3 0 pitch. And he won't come in on 3 0, so he has given up a walk. Perez will be the batter. 0 for 1 thus far. Two outs, a man on first. First pitch on the way. Now a swing and a ball hit foul. He throws. With two strikes, you got to swing at anything close. Curveball ties him in not as he swings and misses strike three. The side is retired. Let's take a look at the pitching sequence, John. He delivers three straight strikes. Yeah, that's not much of a sequence. Just uh, get to the plate and then take your spot in the bench. The Pittsburgh Pirates can't get anybody home here this afternoon. We go to the bottom of the fifth, and we have no score. The numbers six, seven, eight hitters are coming up. Jason LaRue will be the first man up. First pitch to him. Swings and lines this one back up the middle. And the throw to second. This is exactly what you want your leadoff hitter to do. Put the ball in play, make something happen. That's a great A-B. Runner at first. First pitch, here it comes. And this is hit in the air, foul down the left field line. There's a swing and a rocket toward short. 
And that falls for a base hit. And this is how you want to start an inning. Back-to-back -back hits here have them in business with no one out. No one out and runners at first and second. And this is hit in the air foul down the left field line. The pitch. Good cutter swung on a miss for the first down. Great location on this pitch. He kept it down and caught the corner. Here's a replay of those last three pitches. Great pitches on the replay. Yeah, nice work, Joe. He didn't give him much to hit that time, that's for sure. Wilson will be the batter. 0 for 1 thus far. One out, runners at first and second. First pitch on the way. The 0 1 pitch, a fastball swung on and missed. 0 and 2. A change up that time, and he swings and misses. Strike three. Two away. When you pitch a hitter inside, you better not make a mistake and get it over the plate. He doesn't right here. Perfect pitch down and in. Ryan Friel comes up to the plate here. Last season, he had just three home runs with a career slugging percentage. There's a swing and a fly ball down the line and left. Bay is there to make the catch and the side is retired. No runs on a couple of hits and two men left. We're through five here at the ballpark, tied 0-0. And if you just tuned in, we want to remind you that I'm John Miller, along with Joe Morgan, Major League Baseball here on ESPN. It'll be the leadoff man trying to get things going here. Jack Wilson is due up second in the next half inning. Well, that's where you want to throw the sinker. Even if you miss, you want to keep it down. The 1-0 pitch on the way. Change up, waved at and missed. One and one. The one one pitch on the way. The one two pitch. Swing at a ball hit in the air into foul territory in shallow right. The one two pitch coming. Swings and lines this one back up the middle. The throw to second. John, now they're really in business. A base hit with no one out. Runner in first, nobody out. First pitch to him. And he sends this one in the air towards center. And that one falls in there, base hit. Not the way you want to start the inning if you're on the mound. Two straight hits have them in business here with no one out. And it looks like they're going to talk it over on the mound. I'm not sure if they're going to switch pitches here. We'll just have to wait and see what they decide. Ward will stand in. He's 0 for 2 thus far. Runners on first and second. Nobody out. First pitch on the way. Well, he tried to throw it down and away, but it got away from him. He's at the belt. The 1 0 pitch. The key to any pitcher's success is the ability to change speed. He's doing a great job. Now the 1 1 pitch. This is just a wild pitch, John, and the manager's not happy. Well, it just got away from him. Here's the 1 2 pitch on the. Swung on and ripped towards second. John, that's three consecutive hits he's given up. He can't be out of gas yet. He just got to bear down and get somebody out. Three men on and nobody out. First pitch, here it comes. Just missed that one as he fouls it straight back. Here it comes. Out in front of that pitch and he's in a deep hole. It's 0-2. Man, big rip at that one, but he was looking for something else. Swung on and grounded towards the hole. One and two. A double play. 
That was quite a quick play, and it had to be, or they wouldn't have gotten the double play. Well, John, with a guy bearing down on you, that's as tough a throw as a catcher will have to make. And they pull it off. The 5 2 3 double play. Great going. Jason Bay at the plate. Last year, he finished up with 26 homers with a career slugging percentage of 546. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. And there's ball two. Here's the 2-0 pitch. There's ball three. The 3-0 pitch. And he misses ball four, so that'll load him up. Benito Santiago is the batter. Last year he hit six homers. His career slugging percentage is under 420. Swing and a miss. He's just a little bit under it. 0 and 1. There's a swing and a bullet towards the hole. Freel is up with it. Throws to first and the side is retired. John, let's check out the slider on Kazon. Many times if you're a pitcher, you'd much rather be lucky than good. Yeah, with the bases loaded, you've got to be extra careful when you spot your pitcher. However, he does get the out and nobody scored, so you got to be pleased with that. The Pittsburgh Pirates aren't able to push across anything and have been shut out through the first six. On to the bottom of the six in a scoreless ball game. And the two, three, four spots will be coming up next. Adam Dunn is known for being a very fine hitter. He's due up third in the inning. That's in there for a strike at the letters. He delivers. Good hard slider swung on and missed. 0 and 2. This is swung on and hit in the air. And foul. <laughs> On the ground to short, Wilson is there to play it on the hop. And his throw is in time for out number one. Griffey will stand in. He's 0 for 2 thus far. One out, nobody on. First pitch to him. And that swung on and missed, 0 and 1. Well, the crowd is backing up here. Let's see if we can do anything. Score still tied. Got the fastball by him that time, and he's in control now. 0 and 2. Swing and a miss on the slider. Two down. John, he has a great slider today, and these hitters have no chance to hit it. Here's the slider coming at you. Kazon will give us a better look at how it moves. This isn't a bad pitch to hack at. He just timed the swing wrong. Batting is all about rhythm, and he appeared off here. Yeah, nice job by the pitcher. His job is to upset his timing and rhythm up there. First pitch, here it comes. Well, he didn't get cheated. That's the big fly swing. The 0 1 pitch is a slider in for a called strike. <laughs> The slider swung on and missed. He struck him out, and the side is retired. He has punished him here, John. Three great pitches. Well, he's got to have great stuff because you don't see guys go down on three pitches like that very often. Very nice. The Cincinnati Reds aren't able to push across anything and have been shut out through the first six. On to the seventh inning we go. Tied 0-0. It's the last third of the batting order coming up. Ty Wigginton will be the first man up. First pitch to him. The pitch on the ground to second. Jimenez has it on the hop. Throw on to first in time, one away. Castillo ready to take a shot at it now. One out, none on. First pitch on the way. The 0 1 pitch is a changeup swung on and missed. 0 and 2. Struck him out, and that's strikeout number 8 thus far. That sinking fastball will get the job done every time. Nice pitch. Three pitches, and he's out. Great pitching here. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, strike one, strike two, strike three, and see you later.
Perez will stand in. He's 0 for 2 thus far. Two outs, nobody on. First pitch to him. Now you're in the hole. You just got to concentrate on making contact. He got him. And that is nine strikeouts now. He just flat out swung at it and missed it, Joe. Well, yeah, you've got to have good discipline at the plate. Sometimes you even got to take a pitch now and then. He just looked overly eager to swing at one pitch there. The Pirates are frustrated yet again, and that's now seven shutout innings. Time to take a stretch here in Cincinnati in a scoreless ballgame. The five, six, seven spots do up. Austin Kearns will be the first man up. First pitch on the way. There's a high pop up on the left side. On the way. One of the toughest pitches to pull is that pitch breaking down and in. A lot of guys will pull it foul or even try to go the other way. It's a tough pitch, great location. Swings and lines this one back up the middle. Wilson has it. His throw. Not in time. That'll be an infield single. They've got the go-ahead runner on board to lead off the inning. Let's see if they can bring him around. The shortstop fires it to first base, but this time he just didn't get it there in time. Actually, a routine play for the shortstop most of the time, but this runner's got that kind of speed and he beat it out anyway. Very nice. And it... Now here's the ball grounded towards the hole. Over to second for one. And two. A double play. Well, John, let's see this pitch again on Kazon. Here's another look at the changeup. You don't normally see a ground ball hit on a pitch that high, but that's what happened here. Yeah, he still went up there and managed to get on top of that ball. Just an unlucky play, I think. Sometimes the breaks just don't go your way in the game. Lopez, he's a switch hitter, batting right-handed. Base is empty, two down. First pitch, here it comes. Tries to turn on that one, but he misses. Strike one. Ooh, that's a big flash swing right there. Swung on and ripped towards second. Castillo is right there, and he throws on to first, and the side is retired. The Reds just can't figure anything out. And through seven, they remain without the benefit of a run. We'll move ahead to the eighth, and we have no score. Top of the lineup coming up next. Jack Wilson is due up second in the next half inning. First pitch to him. And he fouls this one off. Pitch on the way. Called strike below the waist, and he's in a deep hole now. It's 0 and 2. There's a swing and a ground ball. Casey is up with it, and he'll step on first for out number one. I like the nice execution here by the first baseman, and he gets the force out. Wilson will come to bat now. He's one for three in the game. First pitch on the way. Fastball in there, and it's 0 and 1. I think he'll stay awake tonight thinking about that one that got away. There's a swing and a line drive, and it's through into left field, a base hit. They tried to pound the fastball in on his fist, but he really spins on it and sends the ball into left field for a base hit. One on, one out. First pitch to him, and he holds off on one low and inside. One ball, no strikes. Now he sets. Here's the 1-0 pitch. The 1-0 pitch is a sinker that tails outside. 2-0. He's ready. The two and O pick. Grounded a short. This could be two. Gets one in second. And two. A double play. And this one's got to be a candidate for Sports Center Play of the Week, Joe. John, they make it look easy here. I love making plays like that at second base. A ground ball double play is a boost to your team. Keeps everyone on their toes. 
The Pirates still can't buy a run as they've been held scoreless here through eight. Here come the Reds in the last half of the eight, and we have no score. And the numbers eight, nine, and one hitters are due up next. Ryan Friel will try and get something started. He Grounded back to the mound. Perez has got it, and his throw gets him one away. Good reactions out there on the mound to glove this thing and throw to first. Base is empty with one out. First pitch, here it comes. First pitch is a big breaker for a called strike one. He deals. And he swings and hits this one foul. There's a swing and a rocket toward short. And it drops in for a base hit. This is what you want from a pinch hitter. He comes into the game cold and delivers a knock. First pitch on the way. Inside and low. One ball, no strikes. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. Called strike on the outside, and it's even at 1-1. Here's the 1-1 delivery. The one two pitch. Curve ball swung on and missed. He struck him out. Do that. Man, that's right down the middle. He missed it. Strike three. He threw a curve. Let's watch it in K zone. Nice pitch on the inside corner, and he got him chasing it. Boy, he wanted that one. You can see it in his body language. He just got out dueled by the pitcher on that one. Runner at first with two down. Trying to keep him close, and he's back in time. Two down, a runner at first. First pitch, here it comes. Right back to the mound. Torres is there. He'll throw on the first, and the side is retired. The Reds still can't buy a run as they've been held scoreless here through eight. Eight innings are in the books. It's on to the ninth, and we have no score. The heart of the order coming up next. Craig Wills up. First pitch to him. There's a bullet towards third. Friel on the run as he gets there in time to put it away. I tell you what, John, I'm glad I'm not playing down there. I could barely even see that ball. Bay will step in. One for two in the ball game. Base is empty. One out. First pitch on the way. First pitch is a sinker in there. It's 0-1. The sinker's not a pitch that you can leave in the middle of the plate. You'll get hurt if he throws it there a lot. Good hard sinker that time, and he's in control. It's 0-2. He kicks. He throws. Grounded softly to short. Lopez has got it. His throw not in time, and that'll be an infield single. Santiago will step in. He's 0 for 3 up to this point. But one out, there's a runner at first. First pitch to him. Here's a check swing, but it's called a strike anyway. 0 and 1. Here's a swing, and the ball popped up. Foul down the left field line. Now a ball lined softly to the left side. Friel is there, and he puts this one away for the out. And that one might have been trouble if the third baseman had been playing in a few steps, but as it turns out, uh, it's an easy out. Runner on first, two outs. Sinker drops in there for a called strike. They throw behind the runner at second. A dive, but he's back in easily. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch. Here it is. He looks at a fastball in there, and it's 1-2 and two now. A 1-2 pitch coming. Change up. Got him. And the side is retired. Here's the change up coming at you on Kazon. You'll get a better look at how it moves. 
This pitch is going up on the top shelf and he tries to chase it. Got to give the pitcher credit for just putting one past him there. I can't believe he missed that pitch Joe. It was up in the zone. It was right there on a tee for him to launch. The Pirates still can't push across any runs and it's looking more and more like the first team to score will be the team that wins. On now to the bottom of the ninth in a scoreless ball game. The three four five spots in the order coming up next. Adam Dunn is a dangerous hitter. He'll be up second in the inning. With the score tied, he is feeling the support of the home fan. He delivers. Swung on and grounded towards the hole. Castillo has it. And his throw is in time for the first out of the inning. Dunn will step in. He's 0 for 3 up to this point. One out, nobody on. First pitch, here it comes. Started to go around, but he held up in time. One ball, no strikes. Now the 1 0 pitch. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch. Swung on and ripped towards second. Johnny really got a hold of that one and just scoots it by the infielders for a base hit. Austin Kearns comes in now. He's got an average of two. Now here's the ball grounded towards the hole. The second for one. And two. A double play. Right around the horn, around the bases, third to second to first, a double play. Well, the manager loves that. He says, keep getting the job done. The Reds still can't break through, so both pitching staffs have thrown nine shutout innings. On into extra innings we go in a scoreless ballgame. It's the number eight, nine, and one hitters coming up. Tyke Redman will try and get something started. He's up third in the next inning. First pitch, here it comes. Slider in there for a called strike. This one swung on and fouled away. The pitch. Swing and a miss on the sinker. One away. John, that pitch is down and in. That shows great control right there. That'll finish the job anytime. Nobody on base with one out. First pitch on the way. Swings and misses at the sinker. 0 and 1. Swung on and lined softly toward the left side. And that's into left field a base hit. Boy, John, what an AB. He makes it look easy here with this swing. But coming off the bench cold is one of the toughest things to do in all of baseball. Runner at first, one down. First pitch to him. Swings and misses at the sinker. 0 and 1. Swung on and hit foul behind the plate. Slider swung on and missed. Two down. Man, that's a hard slider with a nice leg break, John. That's a great two-strike pitch. Tough one to hit. Bobby Hill is up to the plate now. Last season, he had just two home runs all year. Last year, drove in 27 runs. Swing and a line drive. And foul. And two, the pitcher's got him right where he wants him. He's got a lot of pitches to play with. Here's the pitch. Swings and lines this one towards the hole, and that gets down for a base hit. Well, John, with two outs, your job is to get on any way you can. Now the go ahead run is on base. Two down, runners at first and second. First pitch on the way. And it's important to get that first strike in there now. Hit in the air to left center. And that one falls in there, base hit. Now here comes the runner to the plate. 
Not in time at the plate as he's able to score easily. Craig Wilson gets a shot here. Last year he hit 29 homers. He's got a 497 lifetime slugging percentage. Slider swung on and missed 0 and 1. And a throw over to first. And he's back easily, but he made a dive just to make sure. Now a throw over. And he has to dive, but he's back in time. Swings and lines this one back up the middle. Lopez is racing, and he gets there for the out. Joe, it's always about sound fundamental play, but sometimes the guy also just has a flair for the dramatic. And you're right, John. This is fundamental baseball. This is a super play. Nice job. The Pirates scratch across a run on three hits with a couple of men left on. Now it's on to the last of the ten. The Pirates have the lead one to nothing. The six, seven, eight hitters are coming up next. Jason LaRue will be the first man up. Swings and misses at that fastball. It's 0-1. He kicks, he throws. Swing at a ground ball to short. Hill has it. And he throws on to first for the out. One away. Lopez will stand in. He's a switch hitter batting left handed. Base is empty with one out. First pitch here it comes. Little too eager there and he's behind no balls and two strikes. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the second out of the inning. Well, he was looking dead red. He got the fastball, but he could not make contact. Strike three. Jimenez comes in now. He's a switch hitter, batting from the left side. Base is empty. Two down here. First pitch on the way. Even if he swings at that pitch, there's not a lot he can do with it. Great pitch. Ooh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch. One ball, one strike. The 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. On the ground to second. Castillo has it. The Pittsburgh Pirates managed to pull this victory out of the hat in their final at bat. Man, the fans were excited, and they got exactly what they came to see. The crowd got their money's worth and a lot more. That's for sure. Oliver Perez. Pitched shutout ball in this one, and there is absolutely no question that he's our ESPN Video Games Player of the Game. Well, Perez put on a terrific performance out there on the mound. He got the fastball by him and really tied him up in knots with that wicked slider of his. He just flat out dominated this game. It took a while, this extra inning ball game, but finally it came to an end. It was a thriller. Now Carl Ravitch is coming up with baseball tonight. For Joe Morgan, this is John Miller. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, our final in 10 innings. The Pittsburgh Pirates take the victory one to nothing. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com. So long from Great American Ballpark.